Hello everyone, it's always a pleasure to be here right in your home bringing to you this program. And do you know what gives more pleasure? It's having you join us on each episode of Touched by Faith. And I say welcome again today. I am Olufunke Owu and right now the word of the Lord is coming to us by our father in the Lord, Pastor Enoch Adejari Adeboye, the general overseer of the redeemed Christian Church of God. Don't go anywhere because today you are going to be mightily blessed. We want to continue with our series on from lockdown to leaping up. Our text that we started with is Acts of the Apostles chapter 3 from verse 1 to 8. Acts 3 from verse 1 to 8. Now Peter and John went up together into the temple at the hour of prayer, being the ninth hour. And a certain man lame from his mother's womb was carried, whom they laid daily at the gate of the temple, which is called Beautiful, to ask alms of them that entered into the temple. Who seen Peter and John about to go into the temple as an arms? And Peter, fastening his eyes upon him with John, said, Look on us. And he gave heed unto them, expecting to receive something of them. Then Peter said, Silver and gold have I none, but such as I have give I thee, in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, rise up and walk. And he took him by the right hand and lifted him up, and immediately his feet and ankle bones received strength. And he, leaping up, stood and walked, and entered with them into the temple, walking and leaping and praising God. In one of the series, we have told you that when you are lifted up, you start by standing, and then you continue to walking, and then you leap up again. You keep leaping after you have been standing and walking, and you end up by praising God. So we explained in that part of the series that there are leapings and there are leapings. There is a first leaping that brings you to standing. And then after you started walking, there could be other leapings. The question we want to ask today is, how high can I leap? How high can I go? After this lockdown, how high can I expect to go? Now, how high a man can lift you is determined by how tall he is. A short man cannot lift you too high. As a matter of fact, the one who is lifting you cannot lift you very, very high beyond his, uh, his own height. For example, in Genesis chapter 41, Genesis 41 from verse 38 to 44, Genesis 41, 38 to 44, Pharaoh was lifting up Joseph 
And he said to him, Joseph, I'm putting you in charge of the whole of Egypt. But I will be higher than you by the throne. I can't live too higher than that. You can be my prime minister. You can be my uh, representative. But don't forget, I am still Pharaoh. So how high can God lift you? It's a very big question. And the answer is simple. How tall is God? Isaiah chapter 66 verse 1, Isaiah 66 verse 1 tells us that God himself said, Heaven is my throne, the earth is my footstool. That tells you straight away how long are the legs of God? I mean, the one who is sitting in heaven and his legs are resting on the earth must have some pretty long legs. Welcome back. That was a word straight from the throne of grace. And I know that the word of the Lord will do great and mighty things in your life in Jesus' name. There are several other messages by Pastor E.A. Adeboye available on all our social media platforms. All you need to do is just follow us at RedeemersNetwork.tv. Either visit our YouTube channel or any other social media platforms. You can also get to watch us on Android TV, Amazon Fire TV, Apple TV, and Roku TV. Or visit www.RedeemersNetwork.tv. The TV. Okay, so scripture says in the book of Isaiah 40 verse 5, it says, And the glory of the Lord shall be revealed, and all flesh shall see it, for the mouth of the Lord has spoken it. And this is a verse that comes immediately after the verse that talks about valleys being exalted, mountains being made plain, you know, rough and crooked paths being made straight and uneven. Rough places being made plain, yes. And this exactly is the testimony of the Adebayos, a couple who started their story last week. They had to wait 25 good years for the fruit of the womb. But today, the glory of the Lord has been revealed. All flesh has seen it, and the mouth of the Lord has spoken it. This is the Adebayos. I've gone through so many advices even from uh, colleagues. The reason why waiting for this beautiful gift? Mind you, we waited for 18 years plus. In fact, to cut the whole story short, I started, uh, you know, I mean, planning towards a period like this. Then again, you see, there, maybe I shouldn't say this one, but. At a point in time, I have to stop to landlord's uh, association meeting. Why? Because on a particular day, one of my landlords in this environment, he's a landlord too, he knows what I'm talking about. He just came in. He said, he's uh, from the landlord's uh, whatever. I said, good, maybe they did not see me at the meeting, you should come in. Then he came inside and sat there with another landlord. And the question that he will throw to me is that why did you not uh, impregnate your wife? I said, ah, How is that your business? <laughs> that uh, if it were to be that time that, uh, you know, um, um, I'm younger, I would have, uh, you know, engaged in a very serious fight with him because what they call that year. I just looked at him and, uh, you know, answer him that it is God that, uh, you know, gives children that he should know. But to the glory of God, the day my wife came, it was all true, we did not tell uh, people that, uh, in fact, some people on this street, they were already carrying rumors about that, uh, ah, but that they made the bruiser, also the lay and thing, eh? Meanwhile, all the nine months she was in the hospital, in the hospital, but we did not tell anybody. We only, you know, told them some few ones that are close, maybe about two or three of them. 
So it was when she came back from the hospital that most of them now knew why she has been uh, away for nine months. Some of them will be rolling on the ground and uh, glorifying God. Uh, some of them just, you know, came just to, just to, you know, uh, ascertain it if it is true that uh, it's not, <laughs> it's not possible. Because already my wife is 54. They believe that there is no other way or there is no other uh, means of, uh, you know, of her getting uh, pregnant. But we thank God because it is God. He, he only showed us uh, mercy. Uh, it is not. In fact, there were times that I would just be looking at her. Sometimes I will ask her, why are you determined to even stay behind her? You say ah, that uh, anywhere I go, she goes. And anything that happens, that she is uh, she's ready, that she is not... Uh, but I believe... In fact, sometimes I have to change my prayer that even if it is because of this uh, woman alone, no, that God should answer us. Because... She is just so determined that uh, whatever that happens, that she's not, she's not ready to go to anywhere, that she's staying, that we were into it together. And at the end of the day, God answered us. The only problem is that uh, whenever we, whenever she has the occasion, maybe we just lost uh, an IVF. In fact, uh, I will run away from my home because I won't know how to pacify her. Though I was the one that pays, but she's the one that she that thing normally touch. I mean, touch. You will say, "Ha, ah, this is the only opportunity." I will say, hey, "Don't worry, we will still look for another." Month. The first IVF that I did, it was uh, the IFC, because he's my boss. And uh, we are very, we are, we are, we are close to. Was the one that gave us, you know. I went to see. Him. I said, I'm starting this thing, and he even told me that. See, this thing is not something you will do once and uh, relax. So it may not be once, it may not be twice. He was just saying it, you know, to encourage me. So it was when I was trying it the fourth time. That it failed, and now say, ah, no, 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 no. This thing it has gone beyond the uh, what I never knew that uh, God will just you know answer us on the last uh, attempt that we did. It was it was uh, a miracle, and even uh, since uh, that time, the babies they have not in any way given us any issue. They are so strong, more surely this one. They are so strong and they hit <laughs> the two of them. They hit like uh, initially I was thinking that uh, ah, I may have uh, this because my wife for some time now, well, after she must have relocated to Ibadan, she the shop because it, it was a supermarket, she stopped all those things, was only selling. Uh, Tailoring material and doing tailoring. She has about sewing machine, about three in that shop. Because this place also is a local place, you know, well, Richard Bank. So we depend so much on my own income. But God has not, in fact, with the arrival of these uh, children, the, the finances has improved. We, we have not experienced any financial hardship since the arrival. In fact, my ego, before now, my ego morale, you know, has been dampened. That even when I'm in a, an environment, they, they are discussing anything pertaining to children, I will easily, you know, jump into conclusion that, ah, they are stylishly telling me to leave that area because I don't have... <laughs> you understand? Even... Let the two, three people be talking about discussing uh, children's fees. I will say, uh, well, what will I contribute? I don't have any children I am paying. But now, 
the the there is you know that uh, uh, I'm proud you know to have them now and uh, that uh, lost you know confidence has you know returned. So I can go to anywhere you know to you know say with all my chest that. Uh, in fact, when I, whenever I'm in the office, you will see me calling my wife, give the phone to all these people that they, are, they cannot talk. But yet, if they hear my voice over the phone, you will see them laughing. More actually, what uh, the normal way I used to play with them, if I say it over phone, they place it on their ear, they will be laughing and be shouting. So that's the joy of it. Well, actually, the youth, even when uh, we were waiting, I, I have seen some uh, newly, maybe uh, two years marriage that uh, a lady is saying that he's waiting. Two years, even a year plus. I say, ah, it's a year plus waiting. So our youth, well, they don't have that patience. You see, one thing about uh, the moment you go through the uh, process of uh, Christian marriage, once you are married, you have carried your cross and it's to death do you patch. They will not intervene. No. The only role they will be, they, they play for us, even when my daddy was uh, active. Like, we pray, we advise us. But just to uh, bring uh, an idea that uh, they want uh, they, are, they want to see their grandson or granddaughter they won't do that too. they believe that once you have carried it is your cross just like you Robert, believe that uh, <laughs> so i give god all the glory that the year of double portion he gave us double for our shape Honestly, uh, when we even show the whole world, yeah, because even if she failed to even say that, my mother will say, ah, It's not only one that I'm seeing, you know, ah, how many? Ah, oh, ring, cousin, but that time I thought already she was going home. How many more We didn't see anything. I will say, Kilo to she, yeah, it was later that all those things are now playing, you know, into reality to me that they uh, are. They are saying all those things that we are, we are unable to see that time when these two children came. It was a big miracle. So my advice is, apart from uh, the confirmation about uh, the medical uh, i mean uh, menu i mean what do they call it the blood type and the other thing uh, a, a, don't marry a, a, ss this that I mean, apart from confirming that medically they should leave everything to god it will come when it will come uh, it is only some people who may think that ah just like some people told me that uh, if you give back to children at the age of 55, these days you even see children that are that are under six, seven, to even one she's kid. So God works in a diverse way. These children now, it is God that gives us, and they are for signs and wonders. So, me, I believe that they will obtain the glory of the family, of the, you know, town, of the environment, wherever they find themselves. And they will, they already changed our name. Because before, you will hear people saying, Sister Bosse, they are calling my wife. Me, I'm Bra, bra Bayo, Bra Bayo. Even at 55, 56, Bra Bayo. But now, uh, all those ones they have changed now because God has given us a new name. They either call me Baba Goodness, and they will not even call me just Baba Goodness or Baba Goodness and Mercy. I be Baba Benji. 
and the your goodness and mercy are be your baby. So it is a, a glorious thing. Well, let somebody shout hallelujah. You have listened to the testimonies. And I believe that the God that we serve is no respecter of persons. What he had done for others is more than willing to do for you. But before you can begin to enjoy the kind of miracles, signs, and wonders that you have heard during these testimony time, you must surrender your life to him. Miracles are for children of God. And so if you want to surrender your life to Jesus Christ right now, you just bow your head. I will pray with you and the Lord will save your soul. So shall we pray now? My father, my God, you know all things and you can see all things. You can see these people who have listened to the miracle working power of the Almighty God, what it can do in the life of people. And they say they want these kind of testimonies too. So as they are surrendering their lives to you now, Father, please receive them, save their souls, and Lord God Almighty, let your blood wash away their sins. And from now on, Lord God Almighty, anytime they cry unto you, answer them by fire. Very soon, let me begin to hear their testimonies. In Jesus' mighty name, we have prayed. Amen. Amen. Let someone shout hallelujah. Wow, what a mighty God we serve. We have seen him put an end to barrenness of 40, 50, 60 years and even more. So what is it that you are going through that you are thinking nothing is too hard for God to do? All you need to do is have a relationship with him. Thank you so much for joining us on today's episode of Touched by Faith. Until we come your way again, I am still Olu Funke Owu and know that, that concerning that situation that you are going through, I say it again. Isaiah chapter 40 verse 5 says, For the glory of the Lord shall be revealed. All flesh shall see it, for the mouth of the Lord have spoken it. This shall be your testimony in Jesus' name. When I was worried and couldn't sleep, he was walking behind the scene. Oh, so that you do, he has done it. Network Television.